problem we were dealing with today was weeds encroaching from both sides on the outer edges of our gravel driveways. And that's coming from a couple of reasons. Number one, they just, they just kind of wind their way in there, right? And number two, we've got uh, road fabric down the middle of it, but the gravel has spilled over on the edges, on the outside edges of it there where there's no road fabric and that's where some weeds are popping up through. And so an easy way to correct that is just to take your plane down and just grade it out. And so if you do that two, three times a year, it's gonna take care of it. Time's kind of got away from me and I, uh, I haven't done it since, uh, boy, I don't know, maybe early July, something like that. It's been a few months. I wanna get it done one more time this year and so we just got, got done knocking that out. And I threw the bucket on just cause that was a little bit nicer and uh, I like showing you guys this hydraulic quick coupler as well that we installed recently too, where right from the operator seat, I just flip a lever, do the hydraulic skid steer quick attach, drop the forks, hook up to the bucket. And then uh, I didn't have anything on the Speedco, so I backed right up to that land plane and hook up to that. Just had to get out and, uh, and pop those levers back closed. And I, if I was thinking about it, I could have just left those closed and that would have clipped right in there and never had to get out of the, the operator seat. Depends how lazy you want to be. But I love a land plane for grading. And, and some folks like a box blade. We did a video comparing a box blade versus a land plane. And, you know, either tool can, can get it done. What I like about the land plane, though, is that you can shift material from left to right from, well, I guess it depends what way you're looking at it, from one side to the other. And I don't want a lot of crown on this driveway. I want a little bit of crown, but I don't want a lot. And the reason for that is when it's winter time for plowing, I want it fairly level so it's an easier uh, time to scrape that. Now, if you had a smaller or a narrower attachment that, you know, I'm gonna use an eight foot wide snow pusher on, on this Kubota this winter. And so that's, you know, on an eight foot level plane, if I have a big, crown on there then you're not making contact for a, a couple of feet on either side so if you had a smaller say like a four or five foot uh, snow pusher or plow or blower or something well you can probably be on one side of that crown and, and you'll be just fine but anyway so that's that's one of the reasons why i don't want a big crown another big reason another reason i don't want a big crown is that uh, part of this road is on the side of a hill and so i kind of want the water to sheet across and not pool up if i had a crown and it's, if the hillside's going down like this and I have a crown that's like this, well, it would kind of want to trap the water in the middle here. So I want that water to continue to sheet over that way too. So anyway, you can do a lot of things with the plane depending on what you're looking to do is the point. So you can move the material to the side, you can move the material to the middle, you can run it completely level. You're going to see me running it level for a good chunk of the time. If you dig the front down a little bit more, it's going to make it a little bit more deeper grade. If you just rock the back edge, down and don't even have the front one on there it's kind of a lighter grade that just kind of lightly lets the stuff spill over on the back and so i do a little bit of that depending on the area and what i'm looking to accomplish with it but the help of a top link a hydraulic top link where you can do all this stuff from the operator seat and adjust on the fly i i we did the whole job i timed it and that was with changing a drone battery in 30 minutes and so that probably took two minutes just to stop and park and all that kind of stuff so i did 1300 foot of driveway grading today in under a half hour, and you could probably do it in 20, 25 minutes if you're just doing that and not doing it on camera. But it's just a super easy, super satisfying job to do. I love the look of it, and you're kind of reclaiming those edges, right? It's just making it quite a bit more crisp, and the, the dead weeds that are on those edges will just kind of die off and decay, and then you're just good to go. I mean, if you do it two, three times, maybe once in the spring, once midsummer, once in the fall like we are now, that's really about all you need. You can do it more if you want to, but it also allows you to stay on top of it. You're gonna prevent potholes from forming down the road and having a bigger regrade issue to deal with. And you don't need to keep re bringing in more gravel all the time either. I mean, this is, well, the, the, the long section here between the fences we did this spring, but the other section that's up closer to the front of the property we did last year, and that stuff is like rock hard. Uh, a lot of it is, and it, you don't even need to scrape down through there. It's packed in really well. I am debating whether or not to top it all off with crushed limestone. Um, I'm gonna be doing everything around my barn here soon and I think I'm gonna go crushed limestone there. I like the look of it. And I found another, another quarry that has that and I didn't realize that they had it. So um, I might top it off of that and we'll see. It's just an added expense, but I don't necessarily need the extra thickness. I have about six to eight inches right now and it's serving the purpose, but I would like the continuity, but We'll see how it goes.
Now, don't think you need a bigger tractor to get the job done. As you can see today, it does get the job done quicker, but you can do the same project with your subcompact, like your 1025R or a 30 horsepower tractor, whatever you have, there's gonna be a land plane made to fit your size of the machine. We'd love to help you out. Send us an email if you're not sure what one to get, but we ship attachments all over the country every day of the week. Check out what we have to offer at goodworkstractors.com. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Oh,